first, a test of practical intelligence. Oh, I've got to get the cork out of the bottle. How would you get the cork out of the bottle? It's a level playing field. Yeah, so... Seth's high IQ shouldn't help him, nor should Nathan's. Christ, this is brilliant. Stella can't blame her lack of education if she fails this one. I don't know what this, what's this about? The key to this problem is choosing the right prop. Yeah. No, it's not the pump. So there's got to be a way to get this thing out. Not so far, so... Let's see. Scientist Seth is suspicious of everything. It's quite possible that in here there's another implement which you haven't given to me, so I can check. Well, I don't know, it looks like it's... Is there something further down? No, it looks like it's... I think it's sugar all the way down. It's stuck in my belt. That's probably not a sign of a genius, but... Nathan's appetite for competition gets him close. But he's not using the right prop. <laughs> this might not work. As for Stella, complete despair. Until... Oh. That's the only thing that would give you leverage if you got it in that. But that's just some so ridiculous. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh. God. Her self-confidence just lets her down at the last minute. No. Nope. But she's unbelievably close to solving it. <laughs> that you stumped me here, it's a good one. So how do you do it? None of our seven passed the bottle test. Nathan and Seth did well, but Stella came closest. Suddenly, the competition is hotting up. And the solution? All you need is the handkerchief, really. There's a little finesse to it, though, I will say. Yeah, it's probably good. It'll slide right out. <laughs> if R7 found this test hard, the next one will be even tougher. Yeah.